Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be making the perfect cup of coffee. And we're going to be using our coffee maker here. Um, there are several ways to make a cup of coffee, you know, pour overs um, with hot water. But uh, this is your typical coffee maker that pretty much uh, all families have at, uh, at home. And uh, so let's get right into it. So what we're going to do here is, if you've never seen one before, let me just kind of go over the basics real quick. You hit this little lever right here, and most all of them are kind of the same, you know, they pull out, open up on the top, and you're going to have where you put your coffee filter right here. And you got to get the right size coffee filter so that the beans don't pour into it and then get inside your thing here. So now on the back, it just lifts up, water goes in the back here, and that's where the first cup of coffee comes into play. Because you got to go by the lines right here, goes 2 to 12 right here. So first thing we're going to do is we have to grind our coffee. I like whole bean. You can get already grounded if you want, but the perfect cup of coffee, like I said, for this video, we're going to be grinding it. So, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to be using Starbucks Dark Roast French Roast, and it's going to be whole bean. And what I like about this is you pick it up for a good price, and then you take the bag back in once you're completely emptied and you can get a small cup of coffee from Starbucks for free. So that's why I like uh, the Starbucks. Uh... Okay, so let's go ahead and open it on up. And I store it in a nice airtight and sealed um, canister. So let me show you that real quick here. This keeps the, uh, the beans fresh right here. So I just pour it on in. keeps it nice and airtight, but what we're going to do is we're going to fill up, now all grinders are a little bit different, you don't want to fill it up too much or the uh, grinder won't be able to grind it well, but uh, you want to fill it up, uh, you know, almost to the top there, to the brim. Okay, now we're going to get a little bit more in here. So we're right about, right about there, right about on top, a little bit of room around the edges there. So let's go ahead and grind that up. And I like to grind mine pretty fine. Okay, now we need a filter. So with most of these big coffee machines here, number four filter. Number four coffee filter. I like to get the uh, non-white ones. Uh, this is just your typical natural brown. Um, kind of, you know, skip over the, the white bleached uh, paper. So again, number four. So this is what it looks like here. And then you just open it on up. Like that. We're going to open up our drawer again, and again, this one pops out, but most coffee filters, again, are going to look just like this. You want to get the paper like this inside, and we're going to clip it back on, and then we're going to take our fresh ground beans, and now it's looking like this right here. So we're going to pour that on in. So now we're looking like this right here. Okay. And what I like about French roast, the dark roast Starbucks, you got a nice glossy, nice oily bean. Very good. All right. So again, as you know, I like bold coffee. So if you're not really a bold taste kind of guy, like I said, this is the perfect cup of coffee. So if you want kind of a bold like Starbucks, uh, what we're going to be doing because of our grinded up beans right there. You don't want to put too much water in. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up to right on the seven dot and that's going to give us a nice cup of coffee for our beans, uh, the amount of beans we put in there. Um, 
If you want to go a little bit lighter of a taste, you would go up to eight or nine, and then obviously just more diluted. Um, it gets really weak the higher you go. But uh, for a nice, bold, strong, good cup of coffee, we're going to go to seven. So uh, You can use filtered water as the best um, if you have a filtering system in your home. Um, I don't. I live in California and southern uh, Orange County, so we have really good uh, tap water on hand in Irvine. So from what I understand, it's uh, pretty good. So. I, uh, I drink a lot of it. So what I like to do is I like to just line that up, and I think we filled it up too much. Yep. So we're going to measure it up right to the 7 line. Right there, sitting firmly on the 7 line. Okay. Now, just open up the back. We'll clip that in. Open up the back where you pour the water in. And you just pour it on in gauge will come up right here and then you slide that right underneath there close the hatch and then hit the on button and then just let it drip all the way down and then most of the things you know most of the coffee makers will chime on you they'll give you a little warning symbol that it's uh, it's ready um, now from my experience from doing it exactly the way I show you um, I've let it got up to about maybe three or four and I've actually poured a cup of coffee because I couldn't wait You know, I really wanted a cup and that first cup is just um, absolutely amazing but you've taken the first fruits from it instead of letting it mingle with the whole entire batch now see maybe it's just my theory but if you take first fruits you're gonna take the really the strongest boldest part which is delicious and good but if you let it sit in there and then let the whole entire thing fill up, you know, it's going to mix and blend, and then you're going to be pouring a mixed up batch so it's all even. That's just my theory again. Anyway, guys, that is how you make a perfect cup of coffee, and I'll be right back with you when it's uh, all the way up to the brim and we'll pour a nice cup. I like it black. Um, you can put a little bit of uh, sugar and cream in there, but personally, I think uh, you got to really know how to taste the bean. All right, be right back with you. And that's the warning symbol I was telling you about, letting you know that your cup of coffee is ready. And as you can see, guys, it's right almost to the 7 marker, because you do lose a little bit of water, um, but uh, not much, though. So, again, with this coffee maker, it's, uh, it's really, I mean, it's a sturdy, sturdy machine. Um, I've had, um, actually, my, my folks, they've gone through many, many coffee makers, um, uh, be honest with you, I'd probably stay away from Cuisinart. I'm, I've heard, you know, uh, my folks have gone through about five coffee makers. Anyway, uh, when I moved out of their place about, gosh, probably about maybe six or seven years ago, um, they gave me this as a housewarming gift. This is a Krups, K-R-U-P-S, a Krups coffee maker. I've had this for about six or seven years. The thing is a solid machine. I make coffee once a day when I lived uh, at my bachelor place before I got married um, I was doing two two pots of coffee a day um, I've had this um, now this is Cuisinart this is a good grinder um, but they do make ones that are a little bit more quieter on grinding the bean but this one's good I like it black as it kind of matches there and then uh, of course the colors match my my uh, my blender here but anyway, um, Krups um, and this grinder, uh, if you're interested in uh, where to get this, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description box below where you guys can pick that up for your own purchasing pleasure, so check that out below. But um, again, this video is about how to make a perfect cup of coffee. That's a good cup of coffee. Until next time, folks, enjoy your cup of coffee.